Greetings, everybody. Tell Puckett here. I want to say thank you for tuning in. Uh, this video is going to be B minor, and more specifically, the B minor blues scale. But before we uh, dig in too deeply, I just want to remind you, if you are interested in building cigar box guitars, be sure to watch these videos here in this playlist here. There's plenty of um, building tips and techniques in these playlists here. If you are interested in just cigar box guitar lessons, you don't care about building, but you just want to learn how to play cigar box guitar, then check out some of the lessons in these videos here. Plenty of tricks and uh, techniques and licks and theories or whatever about um, build, playing the three string cigar box guitar. And then, then third, if you just want to see a bunch of different, unique, handmade three string cigar box guitars that I build, be sure to click on this playlist here and you guys can binge watch all you want. All right, so let's get into it. We are tuned E, B, E. People ask me, why do you prefer the E, B, E tuning? I have many reasons. I'll just give you a few of them. First off, it's a looser feel. Okay, it's easier to bend the strings because they're not tuned up so high. They're actually tuned down. These are the the typical A string, which is 0.044 gauge wound. This is the typical D string. This is 0.034 wound. And then this is the typical wound G string at 0.026. So this would normally be uh, tuned in standard cigar box guitar tuning. This would be the G and D, G. And that would, of course, be tuned up. Now, if you're playing slide, I do recommend tuning to G because you have uh, more tension on your strings and so it's easier to play the slide. If, if, if you have lower tension, like EBE, you'll be crushing into the, into the fretboard because the strings are looser. So that's one of the main reasons. It's easier on the fingers with lower EBE tuning and it's easier to bend the notes in the EBE tuning. The, the other reason I like the EBE tuning is because the lower tone I feel is more appropriate for the cigar box guitar, the the growl, so to speak. Um, um, I think it's it's it lends itself really lends itself to the cigar box guitar. Um, also, you know that these don't have any truss rods in here; they're just just the wood, right? So having the EBE tuning, which is less tension, means less of a possibility of your neck actually bowing under the tension of the strings. So longer life for the instrument is also a plus by having the lower EBE tuning. And then finally, probably the main reason is because before I was a cigar box guitar player, I was a normal guitar player. And in standard normal tuning, you tune a six string guitar, the low string is E. So when you're looking at the guitar from the top down, you realize that the top string is E. So in my mind, it just makes sense to, to have that knowledge transfer from the six string world, traditional guitar, into the three string. I just borrow that and so I, I, in my mind, I just know that the open is E, which means that the first fret is F, the third fret is G, the fifth fret is A. So if I was doing power chords on a guitar, I would just look down and I would know that that's A. And I would look down and I would know that this is B. C, D, back to E again, the double dot. So, in my mind, it's just easier to think of the guitar tuned E, B, E than it would be for me if I was thinking of it in any other tuning, like especially the other common tuning is G, D, G. So, those are the reasons why I do E, B, E. So let's get on with this lesson. So the root is on the middle string. And the blues scale is going to go open to the third fret, to the fifth fret, sixth, seventh fret, up to the tenth fret, to the double dot. 
and that's another root. So backwards, double dot, to the 10th fret, to the 7th fret, 6, 5, 3, open. And then this would be the main chord here at the 7th fret. Now to make it minor, we're going to put our pinky here at the 10th fret on the high string. So this is a bar here, index fingers barring the 7th fret. So this is, and you can actually do a double note here and get what they call a minor 7 chord. So this would be B minor 7 chord. So you got the 7th fret, and then both of these are at the 10th fret. So this is a normal minor, and this is a minor 7 chord. And I like to pull it off. wanted to do your blues, you would just, again this is a bar, and this ring finger is going to go to the 9th fret, then your pinky to the 10th fret, back to the 9th fret, then back to the 7th fret. So this is your main chord for this lesson here, the B minor and the B minor 7. Here's some extra information. This note here, B minor, has a relative right here at the 10th fret. This is called D major. D major at the 10th fret is the relative of B minor at the 7th fret which means you can also play a D major scale over the B minor chord. So D major here is found at the third fret on the middle string. And it's the, um, the real common major scale, the, the uh, and that's going to go whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. Another thing that you have an option to do is what they call E, in this case here, E minor, Dorian, which is, again, the top and the bottom strings are E. So you're going to go open to the second fret, third fret, fifth fret, seventh fret, ninth fret, tenth fret, back up to the double dot. I realize there's many, 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 many more possibilities, but we're just covering the B minor blues scale, the D major scale, and the E Dorian. Some of the progressions that you can do, this is a real common one here. This is called the 6, 4, 5. G to A, back to B minor. Well, 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 if I don't have a little looper. Look, Mom, no hands. All right, so here we can have some fun. I got the loop stored in the pedal below, and I'm gonna overdub the B minor blues, the D major, and the E Dorian, and I'll throw in some harmonics here and there. Here we go.
If you want to rock the blues, your main chord here, seventh fret, and then you'll go um, with the ring finger and then the pinky back and forth. The next stop is going to be open. seventh um, another option that you have is the uh, it's coming up here to the double dot back to the seventh fret and instead of going to the second fret for the turnaround you can do this chord here at the ninth and seventh fret. Slide it down. And you can also do your turnarounds. So there's the blues progression here in the key of B minor. Alright, let's try to have some fun with some blues.
right, enough of that noise. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, and I will see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.